lion and mouse. Here we go. In the woods there lived a very lovely lion who was like a sun and a small mouse who was a busybody and a clutton. One day the mouse marched into the lion's house without being invited. Being well mannered, he wiped his feet on the lion's mane. Before he could leave without saying goodbye, the lion grabbed him. When are you? Where are you going, breakfast? the lion asked. Breakfast? said the mouse. Don't eat me today, please. I am off to see my girlfriend. Someone as small and ugly as you couldn't have a girlfriend. But I do. And if you let me go, I might be able to return the favor. Ha 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 ha, laughed the lion as only lions can. Such an insignificant little animal as you is going to return the favor? Get out! And the mouse ran away. Insignificant means being of no use or importance and is the most insulting thing you could say about a mouse. As she is. The next day the lion went out for a walk and found a very handsome ham hanging from a tree. See it right there? Mmm, yummy, yummy. It was a hunter's trap and he fell into it. <gasps> In those days, people were foolish and hunted lions. As the lion was crying, the mouse appeared. But the lion didn't recognize him because all mice looked alike to him. It's me, Mr. Lion, the mouse said. Yesterday's mouse. And what do you want? I can rescue you from your trap. The lion felt like laughing again, but it didn't seem like such a good idea just then. The mouse bit through the net that was covering the lion and freed him. See how he was biting through the net? Pretty cool. The lion was astonished. He had been rescued by someone so small. I told you I'd return the favor, exclaimed the mouse, before he fled into the bushes. One rainy day, the lion met the mouse again, and with his immense paw, he protected him from the rain. Another favor, the mouse said with annoyance. Now I'm going to have to do another favor for you, and you will have to do another for me. Then I another, and you another, and then I another, and <gasps> enough, said the lion. I'm doing it because I don't want to get you wet. Oh, how nice. The paw is like an umbrella. Hmm, it looks like they have become friends. And that is how they began to be good to each other.
they weren't favors. They didn't do this because they expected to get something back. They ended up living together in the lion's house because there was more room there than for one lion. One day, the lion went up very, very close to the mouse to see him better. You know, seeing you so close up, friend mouse, you aren't all that ugly. Mm, what we got there? One, two, three. Three mice. They lived together nicely the rest of their days in the woods. They loved so much. They lion, the lion walked through the bushes with his good mouse sitting on his head.